Good day everybody, today we're gonna talk a little bit more about our heating elements and heating systems. So firstly, let's take a look at our elements. We have 2.5 kilowatt, 3 kilowatt and 400, ki oh, 400 <laughs> sorry, 4 kilowatt elements. All these parts are made for 50 Hz and 220, 230 volt. So if you live in the United States, it's not capable, not compatible to your system, but you can change your circuit. Yeah, and actually we're gonna do, we're gonna make some uh, heating elements and heating system for United States in the future. So it's like a, in our plans. And uh, yeah, let's talk about more about our heating elements. This is two and a half elements. As you can see, this is like a two elements in one. Uh, we have one element is uh, 1500 watts, yeah, and other one is uh, like a 1000 1, watts. So you're able to control every, every piece of this element or control them together if you choose another uh, one of the heating uh, elements, uh, heating system, sorry. So as, we, as you can see over here, we have a thread. This is pipe thread, uh, one and one quarters inch. Uh, and also we have a reducers for installing on this heating element or any of others. So you can install to two inch clamp in a boiler. Yeah, and use three clamp if you like. Yeah, and uh, this is three kilowatt. The same system over here, thread and two elements, each one is, uh, no, actually not, not each one, one is two kilowatt and other one is one kilowatt. Yeah, and for the next we have four kilowatt, this is actually really powerful, you, you need to have a good circuit for use this one and uh, like you need 25 amps uh, circuit system, it's absolutely. So. Uh, over here we have two elements and each one is two kilowatt. So if you choose, for example, yeah, this heating system, yeah, this is actually very, very simple one. And you can see two switches. Uh, all of them make uh, like light if you plug this unit to the, uh, in your circuit, yeah. It's very simple, like uh, for usual pot steel or uh, steel, which is gonna uh, work only with the power you need. For example, if you choose uh, two and a half kilowatt element you need for uh, double distillation uh, during your reflux, only one and a half kilowatt. It's like a <laughs> choose for you. You can uh, select this switch and uh, you're gonna work with a one and a half kilowatt. It's a very simple one. Uh, also, we have Europlex, yeah. So, for the Europe, uh, Russia, and um, you can use uh, a reducer if you like, yeah. So this is M1 heating system, M2, and this one is M2 plus. And we already talked about this one. Let's look at this. So. These heating systems uh, regulate your power by voltage. Uh, over here we have RM2, a Russian controller, which is really good made. And uh, you can use our heating element or any other heating element up to 3 kilowatt by installing to this port. So by this regulator you regulate amount of voltage, so you will increase or decrease power of your heating element. If you use our heating elements, you plug to this uh, yeah, plug, <laughs> plug system, so you can select needed heating element in your boiler. For example, if you have a uh, three kilowatt yeah, unit, this one, uh, you can choose two kilowatt element and regulate power of that element. Or you can switch all of them and regulate them. So, uh, sorry for my workers, they like uh, <laughs> living in the office. Пожалуйста, потише.
Да. So for the next, yeah, we have our M2 Plus. This is actually can work with a heating element 4 kilowatts. That's why this one has a radiator. All of them have this one and this one has a radiator. This actually has a cooler, additional cooler, which sucks air from the, uh, this heating system and it stays cool. So say, same system over here. We have two switches so you can regulate the needed heating element if you don't need both of them together yeah and uh, over here also we have LED screen which shows you uh, about four or five parameters so you can have a look at the voltage or, or at the power you have and uh, something others oh you can actually you can actually see how much power you took during the distillation and uh, you can like make a marks and calculate how much money you spend during this installation for uh, heating. Yeah, and uh, let's show how them work. So we have one of my boilers. As you can see, this is a dirty one. I use uh, this one a lot. So let's install the heating element. As you can see, we have a coupling thread inside of this boiler. And this is same thread for this heating element. And installation is very simple. So on the other side of the end, of this thread of the heating element we have gasket so it's going to be sealed yeah and it works fine let's pour some water in this boiler and turn it on So we need just a little bit of water for the heating element to be hide under water. So let's plug this controller first. Yep. And then we need to small instruction. Yeah. We need to install heating element. Yep. Oops. <laughs> they were already uh, working. So as you can see, the same system over here. We when we switch the switchers here, yeah, the uh, heating element start working. Yep. And as you can see over here, we have our parameters, and this regulator shows us only voltage. So we don't know uh, really current uh, power of our heating but we can uh, like a calculate and uh, have a understanding of how much is it or actually we can look at our distiller and understand what process is going on so as you can see this regulator shows us a parameter which uh, goes to our heating element here and the parameter in a circuit like this one yeah so right now we have a hundred volts uh, to our heating element and if we plug it uh, if we switch it on only a uh, hundred volts is gonna go on our heating element so it's gonna be about um, let me calculate it's gonna be about one kilowatt maybe a little bit more yeah if we switch this one we will hit only uh, by one element. Let's install and plug it our M2 Plus. Here it is. This is actually mine. I work with it mostly in every video because I really, really love this regulator heating system. So you can hear probably how uh, vent how cooler is working. Let's plug it in. As you can see over here, we have our switches as well. And if we turn them on, 
and a little bit regulate the controller so for example we yeah regulate by 200 volts so we hear our parameters on this screen this is the power 2400 yeah 2400 watts and in the uh, second uh, line we have uh, power of the process we can actually pull this maybe a few seconds yeah so i did like a reset of this uh, controller of this screen and now and right now this line shows us the power which was uh, wasted yeah, by the process which we started so by uh, pushing this uh, small really really small switch we uh, restart this screen and in the third line we have voltage and amps so right now we hitting with uh, 11 amps yeah almost 12. if this screen is blinking it says that uh, we have uh, not enough voltage in our circuit so we need to uh, decrease regulated uh, voltage to power for be stable yeah and as you can see it's no blinking let's uh, show other parameter yeah so right now we're hitting with uh 1900 watts and uh, we regulated by 180 voltage and it's now blinking so the power is stable this is actually for best for rectification or if you need really current power for working on your still for like if you have a lm still this is a controller is very very good yeah I hope it makes sense <laughs> I hope you can understand me and sorry for my English I did not prepare as I as good as I can <laughs> so as if we look over here so as you can see heating element is working and we have bubbles yeah worked, works great so this is for today. We had a lot of questions about our uh, heating uh, systems, heating uh, elements, elements, <laughs> elements, and power regulators. So I hope it makes sense. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, to write us, uh, to ask any other question you like, because I did not tell about all information. It's a bit hard to remember everything. Yep, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you're having a good week and uh, happy distilling.